I want my gay TV. Have you heard about this? As Massachusetts battles it out on same-sex marriage and San Francisco grants the first official same-sex marriage license in the nation, word is that MTV is finally nearing the launch of its own all-gay channel. And my next guest says that if advertisers are smart, they'll want their gay TV too. That it's pure money here. So what companies will most likely jump at this? Let's ask Michael Wilkie. He's the executive director of the Commercial Closet and in Washington. Wesley Combs, the president of Whittick Combs Communication. Um, all right, Wesley, let's get your take on this. Where is the money? Well, the money is with the fact that this segment has a buying power of $485 billion. It's a 16 million person segment that's very brand loyal. And smart marketers are reaching out to this segment because they know if they tailor their advertising to this segment, the consumer will pay back by buying their products. All right, now we know quite a, big, a few big names are involved in this and interested uh, in, in the gay community. Uh, Michael, you look at some of these names from Visa to Delta to Cadillac to Subaru. Obviously, they see money in the gay market. Uh, would they then support an all-gay challenge? I would expect the advertisers who are already reaching out to the gay market to be among the first to step up to the plate for such a thing. It's going to be a, a little bit of a slow rise, though, I think, because it's going to take a while for the network to prove itself, and advertisers are smart. They're not going to just jump into anything. But um, I think, you know, the ones that have been around for the longest and who've spent the most money are going to be the, really the first ones to go into this. But would there be any skittishness, at least initially, that some of these guys who have backed gay advertising might be reluctant, at least being the first in. I don't expect that at this point, not for the companies who are already doing it and have been doing it for a while. There may be more reluctance on companies who don't have that kind of track record, but there are a handful of companies that have been doing this for as much as 10 or more years. And so those companies are really going to be comfortable already. They're past the point of having any uh, you know, second thoughts. All right, and we are looking at some gay themed advertising that's already out in print, and, and obviously it's proven very effective thus far. But Leslie, I gotta imagine that this is more than about reaching a strictly gay audience. Uh, uh, as Queer Eyes has, has shown us, you can rope in a lot of heterosexuals with this type of programming, and that, I would imagine, is going to be pretty important for the MTV folks, would it not? Well, I think what it does is it opens up the potential number of advertisers to a broader spectrum, but you have to realize that advertisers and marketers look to see where they can reach their audience and before the MTV gay cable channel should it become a reality there isn't a hundred percent dedicated broadcast area to reach gay people so this will provide a unique opportunity at a very cost-effective way for companies like Volvo, Jaguar, Land Rover, IBM that are already in the market in a print way to really target a much broader audience at a much more cost-effective way than they can today. Michael, do you worry about a backlash? We're already seeing it in Massachusetts with the gay marriage issue and in San Francisco with the gay uh, marriage license issue that a lot of folks are reacting negatively to this and saying, not in my backyard and not on my TV. Well, I think politics and, and marketing are going to have some separation in terms of what's going on. You know, certainly there is a backlash happening in some regards to uh, the political issues. But as for marketers, you know, once again, many of these companies have already been doing this for five yeah. or more years. And so for those companies to go in now, it's not going to really surprise anyone about their presence. Okay. Final word on the subject. Michael Wilkie, I want to thank you. Wesley Combs, thank you. We'll see where this all